phone, charger. Here we go. Hello, welcome back to Nerds App. So somebody handed me this not too long ago, an absolutely pristine Nokia 3310. Look at that, it's like new. Um, now this phone literally hasn't been turned on for over 23 years, so today we're gonna to find out together whether it still works. Now you might be wondering why I'm so excited about this old phone from the year 2000. And for me, this is just a God tier, legendary status phone. It's super durable. We literally used to throw these things around the playground and play catch with them. You could compose your own ringtone. So I had a little side hustle with these back at school where you give me your lunch money and I compose any song for you. Pokemon theme tune, Boyzone, whatever you're into in the year 2000. And also it had the best game ever made, which was Snake 2. So I'm really hoping to play a game of that later. Now it didn't come with a charger and obviously it's completely, completely dead. So I've got one off eBay, that's arrived today. Let's try it out, let's just get into it. Right. Here we are, an original Nokia charger, 3.7 volts. Phone, charger, here we go. Moment of truth. Oh, anything? No? Okay, let's give it some time and come back. Okay, so it's been on charge for about two hours now. Let's see if anything's going to happen. No. Right, so pretty disappointing that that's not working straight out of the box, but what do I expect? It's been sat in a drawer for 23 years. I guess there's only one thing for it at this point. Troubleshooting montage. So first I had a look in the charging port to make sure nothing was blocking it and that looked fine. Next, I checked the battery to make sure it wasn't bulging in any way or had any corrosion on any of the pins, and that looked absolutely fine too. So next, I thought I'd just take the whole thing apart and just have a look to see what's going on. All the contacts looked good, and it was reassuring to know that if I did need to swap the charging board, it should be a pretty simple job. As it just came out like this. Inspecting the board, but then I remembered I had no idea what I was doing or what I was looking for, so I just put it all back together in a panic. I'm just reminiscing about the fact that back in the day you could just swap the case on your phone to anything you liked, you could alternate this every day if you wanted, and you could also swap the buttons as well. Does anyone else remember jelly buttons? No? Just me? Okay, just me. The next thing I thought is that it could be a faulty cable order from eBay, and then I remembered that I had a old Nokia 3510i lying around, and we could try the cable on that as well. And that's actually charging, so we know it's not the cable. Okay. So this is either a problem with the charging port or the battery. So the batteries for the 3310 and the 3510i are actually different models. You can see they're different widths as well, but the same voltage and the pins line up in the same place. So we should be able to just swap these around so in theory, we should just be able to swap these round and see if that works. Okay, so now we've got the 3510i battery inside the 3310. Let's see what happens. Some sign of life. That's looking good. Now let's give that a bit of time and come back. Okay, so it's been a couple of hours. It does say it's still charging, but let's just try it out. I can't wait any longer. Charging, yes, we know that, good. Okay, it's on, but we need a SIM card. I'm sure we can find a SIM card. Now the Nokia 3310, being a retro phone that it is, needs a full size SIM card. And the only one I've managed to find is this nano sim but luckily most of them come with these adapters so we can make that up to a full size sim card and see what happens i think this is actually a travel sim card for some south korean network but we'll see it says insert sim card we're going to insert sim card 3510i battery back in let's see let's try another sim card
Okay, so it's all coming back to me now. Phones back in the day used to be locked to a very specific network. I've spoken to the person who gave me this phone and they've told me that it was either on T-Mobile or Orange. And guess what? Neither of those networks exist anymore in the UK. So I'm gonna to have to find a way to unlock the phone to any network if I want any chance of playing Snake 2. Let's do it. Hacker man. So we're finally into the phone. Let's go and play Snake. Or maybe not. I can't quite believe what's happened there, so it's dead. It won't turn back on. After all of that, when I plug it into power, and I've had it plugged in for a while, nothing. Nothing at all. So I'm going to have to order another battery from eBay. This will be worth it, won't it? Yeah. It'll be worth it, yeah. Okay. Okay, it's here. Okay, I see. Okay. Straight to snake. Here we go. See what top score was. Now, I might be a bit rusty, but I think I can beat that. Go. Um, new top score. Okay, we'll come back to that later. Time for some tunes. I know which one. Hello. So we didn't have apps back in the day, but we did have a calculator. Quit maths. What else have we got here? Space impact. Here we go. Pairs two, forgot about this one. So I've just remembered something really cool about the 3310 menu system. If we go into the menu, you can see at the top there's numbers changing. So tones is number five. Select ringtone, so that's menu item one. And let's say we wanted to set our ringtone to the Nokia tune, because why wouldn't we? So five, one, 13. So if I wanted to do that quickly, I could say menu five, one, 13. And there we go. Band to me. Okay. Yep. Still don't understand this game. 